Virginia Woolf was born on January 25, 1882. She was a descendant of one of Victorian England's most prestigious literary families. Her father was Les Stephen, a distinguished critic, biographer and philosopher. He was married to the daughter of the writer William Thackeray, Julie Stephen. Virginia Woolf grew up among the most important and influential British intellectuals of her time and could explore her father's library. Virginia Woolf was a member of a group known as Bloomsbury Group. This was the most important literary community in England at the time. This group of writers, artists and philosophers emphasized nonconformity, aesthetic pleasure and intellectual freedom. And it included her brother Toby and writers like Leighton Starkey, Minas Reynolds, Clive Bell, Ian Forrester and Roger Fry, T.S. Eliot, Catherine Mansfield, Elizabeth Bowen, Vita Snackville West and her husband Sir Harold Nicholson. In 1912, Virginia Woolf married Leonard Woolf. She loved him deeply, but she was not entirely happy with her marriage. Virginia Woolf's life was dominated by mental illness. Being young, she had many losses, and in 1941, she committed suicide. In order to understand the context of the novel To the Lighthouse, it is first necessary to mention that Virginia Woolf lived in the transition from the Victorian age to the modernism. During this transition period, some important events took place, as the Industrial Revolution, which radically changed people's lives. For instance, when Virginia Woolf was born, the main transport was by horses and carriages. And in the year that she died, in 1941, there were aircrafts already. It also has to be mentioned the influence of thinkers like Marx, Freud and Einstein. The ideas of an unconscious mind by Sigmund Freud have to be highlighted since the novel To the Lighthouse deals with the issues of consciousness. Another important event at the time is the First World War, which devastated people's lives. And the novel To the Lighthouse was published in the period of recovery from the war. To the Lighthouse is set in a summer house in the Scottish Hebrides. In this place, the Ramsay family used to spend their summer holidays with some guests. To tell the story, the book is divided in three parts, the window, time passes, and the lighthouse. It does not follow chronological pace. For example, the first part, the window, takes up more than half of the book, but it seems to relate to the events of only one day. The first section, the window, begins with the Ramsays and the year children in the summer home with some guests. James, one of the children, asks about going to the lighthouse. He wants to go there. Mrs. Ramsay, the main character, is a woman who was considered a model as mother and wife. She tells him that they could go the next day, but Mr. Ramsay, his father, tells him that the weather would be unfavorable. This conflict will feed the hatred during most of the story by James. One of the guests, Charles Tunsley, supports Mr. Rance's view. He's a student who admires Mr. Rance's work as a philosopher. Mrs. Rance tries to impose her model of ideal family on other persons. For example, it was not good in her beliefs for a woman to be single. At first, she wants Lily to marry William Banks and all the friends of the Rances, but Lily prefers to be alone. However, Mrs. Rances has success to arrange another marriage between Paul Rayleigh and Minta Doyle, two of other friends. During the day, many small events occur. Lily Briscoe paints, 
Mr. Rancy worries about his legacy to humankind. Paul Minta and Nancy Rancy walk on the beach. And at dinner, Paul's proposal to Minta has been accepted. The events happened before the First World War. Time passes. This part describes sensations and cites some events. It does not describe many actions. There are only sad memories and an empty house. Ten years pass and it covers the period of the First World War. Mrs. Rancis suddenly passes away in London. Prue dies from complications connected with childbirth, and Andrew died in a battle in France. The last part, The Lighthouse, described Mr. Rancy and two of his children, Cam and James, going to the lighthouse. Lily finally finishes her painting. Characters Mrs. Ramsay a beautiful 50-year-old hostess with gray hair and sank cheek, the protagonist of the plot, a protecting mother and domestic wife. Mr. Ramsay, the selfish husband, a rude person with a certain violent personality who begs his wife for sympathy. Lily Briscoe, a painter who goes through a deep transformation during the plot. She is a very friend of the family, especially of Mrs. Ramsay, who she profoundly admires. The daughters, Ken, the little girl, wild and fierce. Nancy, the adventurous and not domestic daughter. Rose, the one who loves choosing jewelry, for the mother. Prue, the oldest daughter who dies after complications during a childbirth. The sons are James Ramsay, the youngest, a six-year-old boy who has a higher forehead and blue eyes. He grows up and he shares many of his father's characteristics. Andrew is the oldest son who dies fighting in the war. Jasper is the one who loves shooting birds. And there is Roger, the adventurous son. But how they relate to each other? Mr. Ramsay and Mrs. Ramsay, they have this weird relationship. There is this wife who loves and respects the husband, but cannot tell him it. And there is the husband who thinks that uh, does not inspire admiration in his wife. Mrs. Ramsay and Lily Briscoe. Their relation is based in admiration, protection and learning. Mr. Ramsay and James Ramsay. The relation is based on hate, disappointment, and resentfulness. Mrs. Ramsay and James Ramsay. The relation is connected by love and admiration. Virginia Woolf is considered a modernist novelist whose plots are secondary. Her style compared to James Joyce contains plots which are hard to follow because of the stream of consciousness presented in her works. To the Lighthouse shows Virginia's way of writing. Introspection, which is related to self-reflection, is part of To the Lighthouse. This introspection is shown through the stream of consciousness, flow of feelings, thoughts, memories, and observations. As an example, the author uses 55 times the third conditional. She shows regret about past actions or expresses criticism, as in he would have written better books if he had not married. 
In her narrative, Virginia Woolf, almost is in an explosion of ideas and thoughts, mixes different topics. In one paragraph, one of the characters observes the others. She observes James and sees his distance. She observes her father and thinks about the kind of man he is. She thinks about McAllister, his temper, his selfishness, and his son's behavior being shaped by his father. All this on a few lines. Influence of her mental illness... According to Garcia Nieto, Virginia Woolf's productions were born during her periods of illness, moments in which Las Ideas Manaban come on Volcan. To the author, Virginia Woolf's symptoms made her creativity easier, named by the researcher as Idio Fugal, Fuga de Ideas. According to Garcia Nieto, Virginia used her works to exercise parts of herself. The novel is considered autobiographical. Garcia Nieto points out that Virginia Woolf used to the lighthouse as an opportunity to say things that were never said. Some sad events that happened in her life that marked her were the death of her mother in 1895, her stepsister in 1897, her brother in 1905. The characters in the book and the places were part of her life. Virginia Woolf's mother, would her mother be represented through the figure of Mrs. Ramsey? According to Merkin, transfixed by the portrait of their mother, her sister Vanessa wrote, It's almost painful to have her so raised from the dead. Vanessa is talking about Mrs. Ramsey. So her stepsister, would Prue represent her stepsister? Her brother Toby, would that be Andrew Ramsey? Virginia Woolf used to write in detail everything, every scene as an example through the short summer nights and the long summer days when the empty rooms seemed to murmur with the echo echoes of the fields and the hum of flies. But the death of the three characters, sudden announcements are done in quick notes as when Mrs. Ramsay died, she announces Mrs. Ramsay's death. The book says, Mr. Ramsay, stumbling along a passage, stretched his arms out one dark morning, but... Mrs. Ramsey, having died rather suddenly the night before, he stretched his arms out. They remained empty. Um, so that makes us think, would their death be too painful to be described? When we mentioned about Virginia Woolf using her writing as an opportunity to say things that were never said, we thought about Frida Kahlo, another artist that used her paintings to express her feelings, her pain, the words she knew, two women that express themselves through the work of art.